So, hello and welcome everybody to my first unboxing video on my new channel. So today we are unboxing a special little coral, it's quite a rare one. And yeah, it's an NPS coral of course. This is a Tubestria species. So you might think, oh Tubestria or also sun corals. Yeah, they are not that rare, you can find them everywhere, yeah, nothing special. But this is not your typical Tubestria, like Tubestria aurea, Faulknery. This is a special species. This actually is the uh, Tagus cave sun coral, or Tubestria tagusensis, um, also called long polyp Tubestria, which has like these really, really large chalices, or, or you know, long chalices, long polyps. So I found this on, on a website, on a shop, online shop, decided to order it. So let's take a look inside. So inside our package, we have this nice styrofoam cooler. So let's open it and take a look inside. I have not looked inside yet and we'll see. Okay, so what do we got here? You would just have some plastic bags packed with air here. And here we have our little sun coral. So let's check it out. And yeah, it's actually the wrong one. So I ordered a WYSIWYG picture. And yeah, this is actually the wrong coral. So as you can see, this is reddish orange, but it doesn't have those, those long polyps. So this is most likely Tubestrea Faulknery or something like that. But it is not the Tagusensis coral that I bought. So yeah, <laughs> really cool. The first unboxing of this video, already an unboxing fail. Um, but yeah, um, I will yeah, just contact the shop and yeah, we'll see if we will get our right coral. So everybody, a little update on our sun coral here. Um, yeah, I contacted the shop and he got back to me right away and said, oh yeah, he sent the wrong one and this and that. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but he can't like send me the right one. Um, he can only offer me 10% on the other one. So yeah, I have to think about that because this one was actually really expensive. So it's like a really overpriced sun coral. But I thought, oh man, I really want the, um, the long pulp one. So. So yeah, so but anyway, we have to deal with this guy here. Let's take a look inside in the bag. So it is kind of a reddish orange one, darker color. So we will see um, how the color keeps or how stable the color is. With Tubestria, they can actually change color quite a bit. I have a few different species of Tubestria and also a few different color morphs of the same species. Um, like this one, which is probably an Aurea Falconry, and yeah, and so we will see. Let's check it out. I'll just take the little guy out here. It was packed quite good, it was packed with also a lot of water, which is very, very nice. So, here we have the coral, as you can see, quite a good number of polyps on here. The color is quite nice, it's like this really dark orange, I think I don't have one in this color yet. And yeah, you can see it's glued to this to this frag disc here, I will probably remove it so it can actually fit in the reed. Um, when you're buying Tubestria, it's really important that you make sure that the tissue in between the polyps is intact. If the tissue is not intact, you really have to feed each individual polyp um, yeah, so it doesn't starve. But if you have a, a colony with an intact tissue, like this one, you can just feed a few polyps and they will distribute the nutrients throughout the tissue. So let's get it in here. We'll add a little, the water here from the back and then I will remove it from this frag disc and I will show you how I glue it in my reef. So, and just like that, I removed the colony from the frag disc here, as you can see came off really easy and now we're actually gonna glue this um, guy into the reef. Let's take it over and the reef is like really blue right now so you will not be able to see a lot. 
actually don't have a, a, a filter layer yet. So you can see I have a few different species of Tubastria. Here I have Tubastria micranthus. Um, here I have also Tubastria faulkneri, Tubastria aurea. Here we have some black Tubastria, you might be able to see here. This is actually Tubastria uh, diaphana. And here we have Tubastria micranta. So you can see I have a few different species here. And that's why I was missing the uh, Turgosensis. Um, but yeah, sadly it was the wrong one. So I actually am thinking of gluing it to this area here. There's a little bit of space. And for glue, I'm gonna use this uh, Corifix Cyanacrylat uh, adhesive glue. So let's use that and glue the coral into the reef tank. So I hope you will be able to see this. Um, I actually applied a good sized drop of glue here to the base of the coral. And it's really difficult to do it with one hand, but let's try to glue it right there. Right here. So then it does have a space uh, to expand. It's not in the way of any other coral. And it will get enough light, <laughs> enough light, enough flow. And yeah. So with Tubestria, uh, a good amount of flow is actually quite important because they need to get rid of the food after feeding. And if you don't have enough flow, the food, they can't get rid of the food and it will just rot inside of their bellies. Um, so yeah, that's not a good idea. So I think it will be quite stable here. Don't have any fish or anything that could knock it over. And yeah, so here we have our Tubestria trio now. And you can see like this one, this one here, it's already like really fat from feeding, also this one. And usually when you get them, they're quite skinny, like this one is quite skinny. But we'll feed it, I will feed it tonight, I will feed it the following days. And then I will do a little feeding and update video on this guy to show you um, yeah, how it's doing. So, and here's our, sadly, our final update. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's gotten a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Um, I fed it around three times now. And at night, it's really uh, starting to open up. So that's very nice. So I've contacted the shop and I've told them, hey, you sent me the wrong coral. And they tried to negotiate that uh, here and there, and it's the same thing, which it isn't. You will see that, hopefully. And um, yeah, so it definitely was not WYSIWYG. And um, they said, yeah, okay, we'll send you the right coral, but you'll have to send this coral back. Which is, for me, it's really strange. Um, I, that's not like common practice with, with shops here. Normally, if they, if they make a mistake, they say, okay, you can keep the coral and um, they will send you the right one. But here they insisted on me sending the coral back. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. And I will show you in another video. And hopefully then we'll have a video where this unboxing of the uh, Tubestria tagesensis actually goes right. So here's a last little look on the Tubestria in daylight. And I will just, um, yeah, show it back to them now. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little, yeah, this little first video. If you did, please leave a like and consider maybe subscribing to see more of NPS goodness in the future. So thank you everybody and I'll see you in the next time.